Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmate. In our last video, I showed you three different kinds of jumps. There's the infinite jump, which we created in our last video. There's the standard jump, which you find in most 2D platforms. And finally, there's the double jump. In today's video, we're going to be creating the standard jump. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. Before we start, the assets that we will be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this. Where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. So before we get into the coding side of things, we need to create a ground check object. So if we go to our hierarchy and select the tank, and then click create and create empty child. I'm going to rename this game object. So if I select the tank in the hierarchy and then go into the inspector, I'm going to call this one ground check. And then you press enter. So currently we can't see where the object is. So if we go to our hierarchy and select the ground check object, then go to our inspector and click the cube symbol here. I'm just going to select the blue one here. And there we go. We can now see where the ground check object is. So still having the ground check object selected, I'm going to move it just below the tank. So in the inspector, uh, I'm going to move the Y position to roughly minus 2.15. Right, so now we can get to the coding side of things. So if we open up our player jump script, so we've got to create four things. So the first thing we'll create is our public transform, and that's going to be called ground check. What the public transform does is that it accesses the transform component of the target object. So the next thing we're going to create is a public float. And we're going to call this ground radius. And that's going to equal 0 0.2. <clears throat> and that's going to equal 0 0.2. And that's going to equal 0 0.2f. The next thing I'm going to create is a public boolean or bool. And that's going to be called grounded. And we're going to set that to false. And finally, we're going to be creating a public layer mask. And we're going to call that what is ground. What a layer mask is, uh, if we go back to Unity, and for example, let's select the tank and go to the top of the inspector. We have something here called layers, or we have something here called layer. It's currently set to a, it's currently set to the default layer, but I'm going to create two more layers. So if I go to the bottom and click Add Layer, and I'm going to create a layer called Player, and I'm going to create another one called Ground. So I'm going to select the tank and set that layer to Player. And I'm going to apply it to the ground check object as well. And I'm going to set the level to ground. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to our script. So at the moment, our grounded variable has nothing to change its outcome. So in our fixed update, we're going to type grounded is equal to physics 2d dot overlap circle and then open brackets ground check dot position comma ground radius comma and what is ground and what physics 2d dot overlap circle does is it accesses the ground check objects position creates a radius at that position and it checks to see if any object that is ground and it will then set the grounded to true. 
So all we've got to do now is go to our if statement and we got to check to see if it's also grounded. So two ampersands and grounded. And that's pretty much it. So if we save that with control S, go back to Unity. We've got to set up a few things before we run the game. So if we select our tank, you'll notice that our ground check doesn't have an object assigned to it. So we click and drag the ground check object onto the ground check. And the last thing we've got to do is decide what is ground. So if we click this drop down menu, and now I'm going to select everything. Then I'm going to select it again and uncheck the player. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to get the position of the ground check object. Create a radius of 0 0.2. Uh, and then it's going to check if it's in contact with any of these layers. And then if it does come in contact with these layers, it will set grounded to true. So if we run the game, you'll see that when we come in contact with the ground, Grounded is now set to true. So when we jump, we can only jump once. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Feel free to tune back here next time where I'll be showing you how to create the double jump. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching. Feel free to tune back here next time where I'll be showing you how to create the double jump. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.